Hugo Lloris spent 12 years at Tottenham and in that time his performance has earned himself the right to be called one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League. He would go on to captain the club and would probably go down as a Spurs legend. However, towards the end of his career with the North London side, things started to deteriorate and most significantly on April 23rd, 2023, he would concede five goals in the first half versus Newcastle and would subsequently be subbed off at half time. New Tottenham manager Ange Postacoglu decided this wasn't good enough and the club needed a change. So in the summer of 2023, he brought an Italian goalkeeper Vicario from Empoli for a fee of just 18.5 million euros and in this video i'm going to be explaining why he has been the signing of the season if you do enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new vicario was an academy player of the italian side udinese but never really got a chance at the club and spent most of his time there out on loan with lower league italian sides one of those sides was venezia who would make the loan move permanent in july of 2016 for just 500 euros vicario would leave venezia in 2019 to join Serie A side cagliari and he would be immediately loaned back to Serie b to join perugia calcio vicario would be a standout player in Perugio Calcio's push for the playoffs. They would make it to the final but would lose on penalties. In all competitions, he played 39 times, keeping 10 clean sheets. His performances out alone earned himself the opportunity to compete for a spot at Cagliari, and well, he didn't get much of a chance. He only played 7 times in all competitions, conceded 10 goals. In the 21 22 season, Vicario would go out and loan to Empoli, who had just been promoted from Serie B. He would play every single match in Serie A that season, keeping 7 clean sheets and helping Empoli stay up. Empoli were so pleased with the Italians' performances that they would make the loan move permanent in the summer of 2020 for eight and a half million euros. The 22-23 season would be a big one for Vicario. He would be called up to the Italian national team for the first time and would make the bench 10 times but is still yet to make his debut. More importantly, he would keep seven clean sheets with Empoli in 32 appearances and would have one of the moments of the Serie A season with these fantastic saves versus Roma. Vicario's performances with Empoli earned him interest from Lazio and of course Tottenham Hotspur who would win the race to sign the 26-year-old. Vicario has been an instant success at Tottenham. He has played every single game bar one that was a League Cup loss to Fulham. But other than that he has played 26 games keeping 6 clean sheets. In the Premier League this season Vicario has had a save percentage of 67% compare that to who I believe is the best goalkeeper in the Premier League Alisson Becker he has 75%. In total in the Premier League he's made 72 saves the 8th most and he's prevented 4.83 xg. He's done really well for a player who has come to the Premier League in his first season his first season really being in a club in the top half that will be competing for European spots. For me he's probably been the standout goalkeeper in the Premier League that season now that doesn't mean I think he's been the best but he's been the stand out you expect someone like Allison to be brilliant because he's the best in the world he's been doing it for years but when Tottenham are signing a goalkeeper for under 20 million euros in the modern market you're not expecting a lot definitely not expecting what he's done I'd like to describe Vicario as very similar to David De Gea not on the ball Vicario is much better at that but just the way he saves it I just reminds me a lot of what De Gea was in his prime days at Man United I'm going to compare him to another goalkeeper but not in the way he does things but really just the situation and that is Manuel Ter Stegen a really good goalkeeper but he's always been the second choice goalkeeper for his national team. He's had his moments when Neuer has had injuries, but for the most part, he has been the second choice. I think Vicario is going to have a similar situation with that with Italy. Although I don't think Donnarumma has been brilliant since joining PSG, I think he's probably dropped off. He's still probably always going to be Italy's number one purely for those performances he had in Euro 2020. So you do feel bad for Vicario on that front. But for now, we will focus on his short sports career, and I definitely think he has been the signing of the season in the Premier League. Value for money, under 20 million euros, and he's been one of the standout goalkeepers. You definitely have to say he's been at least one of the best I think he's been the best in world football I would definitely give it to Grimaldo he was signed on a free transfer he's been incredible with Bayer Leverkusen in their hunt for the title so I don't think he's been overall the signing of the season but in the Premier League I think he is my pick but let me know what you think in the comments who has been your signing of the season and what have you made of Vicario's performances this year if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one